What's going on YouTube? It's your boy King Said Gaming, and we are back with another video. First off, hope you guys are having a awesome day. I know I am. Naraka Blade Point. Apparently, this game was announced like a year, two, three years ago. I don't know. It flew under my radar. Whew. I'm talking about flew all the way up under that motherfucker. Just heard about this game like a month ago. Literally, it was too late for the beta. So I couldn't sign up for it, but. The gist of it is, it's a battle royale game. I love battle royale games. I know you guys don't probably don't know this because I don't post them on YouTube, but on Twitch, I actually play a lot of Warzone. It's literally the only game I play on Twitch. Uh, if y'all want to go check that out, of course, link is always in the description, and I'll throw it above you, as always. But I love battle royale games. This one is very significant to me. The reason being is because it's a fighting game, battle royale. So basically, solo dolo. 59 other people. So you got a 60 person battle royale. Solo you versus 59 others. I like that element. We're going to check out some of the highlights, some of the trailers on it. Oh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this. It's been in development for so long. Another beta is coming out at the end of this month. I'm going to try my damnness. Hopefully it's an open beta. I'm going to try my damnness to get into it. But without further ado, let's check out this trailer. Let's see what Let's see animation. How many do you have? Five servers, 72 hours, 1 million participants. Top 5 most played games. Oh shit. It's a battle royale fight game, fans. A smart approach to combat. Big battle royale. It's part Warzone, part Crash and Tiger Hit Drag. I like that. Okay. He take on try and true battle royale, Johnny. Okay. Parkour Battle Royale. 24 Entertainment. Never heard of that company. Alright, this is like beta highlights. Look how smooth this shit looks, man. What the hell is that? Hey, it's kind of cheap, though, man. Like, you just like transform to this big ass four monster, just all slamming in by the rail. Come on now. He picking up two people at a time. Also, I forgot to mention this is a Chinese battle royale. It's based off Chinese mythology, apparently. Okay, that's cool. I love the parkour mechanics. Counter shit? Okay. See, I love that element. Certain characters can counter shit. I mean, it's, it's more technical than just going in there hacking and slash. I love that shit. Can't wait to get my hands on this guy. Counter the hell out of her. No word of counter. Oh, so you got people that can be in trees. Okay. Oh, wow. Bow and arrows do a lot of damage. Oh my god, he's like it. Alright, dude got aimbot. Dude had aimbot. I mean, your toast. It looked pretty cool, man. Let's check out uh, more of the beta impressions uh, before we end the video off. The battle royale genre is evolving at a fast pace, with games like Fall Guys, Tetris 99, and Spellbreak proving that you don't need guns to pull off the last one standing concept in a giant multiplayer game. Naraka Blade Point from Chinese Studio 24 Entertainment is the latest large-scale multiplayer game to try and make its mark on the battle royale genre. 
with the hook being literal grappling hooks and an incredibly deep melee combat system that makes it feel almost like a battle royale version of Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. After playing two full matches and getting a crash course on the combat system, the results so far are extremely promising. Let's start with the familiar. Like just about any traditional oh, battle shit. royale, in Naraka every match begins with you and your squad dropping into a map of up to 60 other players and scrounging for loot of increasing tiers. Oh, and so you can't have a squad. I thought it was just you versus everybody players. else. There are encroaching bubbles at given intervals that constrict the playing field. You can find weapons, armor, consumables, and more specialized pickups called soul jades that provide you with passive bonuses, including rare game-changing weapon-specific ones that grant you powerful special moves, and you fight until there's only one team left standing at the end. While there are ranged weapons such as bows, rifles, cannons, and repeating crossbows, most fights in Naraka were decided in the melee range, and this is where the game truly shines. Naraka's melee combat system is fairly simple, but loaded with the kind of mind games that you'd expect from a fighting game. It runs on a rock-paper-scissors kind of philosophy, where there are regular attacks which cannot be blocked or countered, charge attacks which absorb and power through regular attacks, and counters okay. which, when timed properly, can deflect charge attacks and okay, so anybody can do attackers, counter, so good. but as mentioned before, they are beaten by regular attacks. Smartly, the last hit of any regular attack combo is always a counterable charge attack. So, an experienced player who recognizes that a person is just mashing the attack button can time a counter on that last hit and punish those oh, who get too predictable. I'm looking forward to this game, man. Though, if I know they're looking for a counter, I can press the crouch button in the middle of my combo string to start it all over from the beginning and punish the anticipated yep, counter you can with regular shit. Yep. And on top of that, the unique hero abilities and powerful ultimates, the ability to disengage and re-engage with the grappling hook. Ah, uh, I think will turn me off from it. Just a little bit is the, the ultimate attacks. You can keep those. And uh, I know you guys want to be all flashy and shit, but a battle royale game, we don't need all this this mega powerful shit. It's, if it's balanced, then okay, cool. But I, I got a real strange feeling that none of this shit's going to be balanced. Like for what we seen earlier, that big ass forearm titan picking motherfuckers up two by two and slamming ass on the ground. Nah, nah that shit ain't going to be balanced. That shit looked over, just way too powerful and three melee weapon types, each with their own combos and special attacks, and it's easy to see that there is a ton of depth to Naraka's melee fighting system. It all adds up sure to a style of combat that encourages creative thinking and outplaying your opponent even if you're under-equipped, which are the hallmarks of any good battle royale. Naraka has a unique approach to death as well. Up until the point when the second bubble starts shrinking the field, you get one resurrection. When you die, if your teammates are unable to revive you, you turn into a spirit and must run to a soul altar, where you can revive with some common equipment to get you back in the game. It's a really elegant solution to a common problem in battle royales, where you die early on and never get a chance to see the late game. The crucial right. piece of a melee-centric battle royale is traversal, which is something that Naraka seems to have a pretty good handle on. One of the items that you can find as you're looting up are grapple spools, which can be used to zip to any point or any player. It feels very similar to Just Cause's grappling hook, with the exception of the fact that its tracking is almost non-existent when it comes to latching onto another player. So, you won't be able to just immediately home in on your opponent if they're dashing away at full speed, which is probably for the best. Outside the actual game are the usual suite of customization items, from skins to gestures, accessories, and so on. Well, gonna be some loot the boxes. most interesting aspect of Naraka's character customization suite is the fact that you can completely change the face of your character. There's an absurdly in-depth face creation tool that feels unprecedented cool. within this genre, and has already resulted <laughs> in some players creating characters like Yoda and Neytiri from James Cameron's Avatar. Avatar. In addition to playing two Battle Royale matches and being absolutely carried to second and third place finishes, I also got to check out a fun deathmatch mode that removed all loot and let players just go at it. Oh. It was absolute chaos but it seems like a great way to get your feet wet with Naraka's combat in a less stressful and less high stakes I like that, environment. man. That's pretty cool. Just something that I think all battle royales should find a way to incorporate. Overall, I went into my playtest of Naraka Blade Point not really knowing what to expect and walked out extremely impressed by what I played. Battle royales are a bit outside my typical wheelhouse, but by merging the last man standing concept with elements of fighting and action games, Naraka might be the first traditional battle royale that I really sink my teeth into. Naraka Blade Point opens up its Forerunner beta on April 23rd for PC and is currently scheduled for a summer 2021 release. Yeah, we... For more Battle oh, Royale summer videos, 2021. Sure okay. check out our coverage of...
Unfortunately, we already ran past that date as it's June when I'm recording this. But what do you what do you guys think about it? Naraka Blade uh Naraka Blade Point. And in some languages, Naraka means uh I forgot what one of the comments says. Naraka means hell in some languages. It means coward in other languages. I th we're gonna stick with hell, man. I, I like this game. This game looks really good. I'm a big fan of Battle Royale. Big fan of fighting games. You can buy them both in one. It gets me going. It gets me wet. It gets the motors running. I fuck with it, man. Uh, when the beta drop, we definitely will be playing it on the channel. Might even put this on stream, man. Might put this on stream. We'll see, man. I know the beta does drop sometime this month. When I get more information, uh, if they release a trailer or some shit, then you guys will know I will definitely be playing this game, whether it be on the channel or on Twitch. If you ain't following that Twitch, make sure you go follow. I haven't been streaming here lately. I'm waiting on something. Probably waiting until this weekend. I'm going to stream Final Fantasy VII. Uh, remake. Instagram. I'm going to stream that. Stream that. Ah, I cannot talk right now. Stream that all day. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time, it's been your boy King Said. I'm out. Peace. I, I thought you knew.